Rent a Bridesmaid is certainly one of the most interesting titles of Jacqueline Wilson's books. If you're new to my content, I'd like to start by saying that I've you know, I've read Jacqueline Wilson books for 20, 21 years now. And although I'm no longer the target audience, I am at the time of recording this, 29. I still like to continue reading everything she puts out. Just because one of the main reasons that I write fiction myself is because of the way she inspired me. So my views for Rent a Bridesmaid are coming from somebody who adores Jacqueline Wilson, but who is probably not meant to be reading this book at this age. Nevertheless... This is actually one of my favourites of hers post being target audience. It's aimed for ages 9 to 11, like most of her books, originally released in 2016, published of course, by Doubleday, illustrated by Nick Sharat. And this one, as the title kind of suggests, is about a little girl who is rented as a bridesmaid. Now that, when I when you kind of think of it like that, it sounds... Um, Inappropriate for a Jacqueline Wilson book, to be perfectly blunt. But actually, it's it's quite sweet. So I'll read the description from Amazon, but I'm not going to give any any spoilers or, or anything like that. So if you've not read it and you'd like to, I, I thoroughly recommend it. The description is as follows. Tilly can't believe it when her best friend Matty is asked to be a bridesmaid. In Tilly's favourite daydream, she's kitted out in the most beautiful bridesmaid dress, walking down the aisle behind a beautiful bride. The one wedding she'd really like to attend is her own mum and dad's, but as that's never going to happen, it's time for Tilly to make her own dream come true and put her bridesmaid services up for hire. So, it does seem a little bit weird that she's pimping herself out as a bridesmaid, but it's not as, you know, it's not as black and white as that. Um, She's offering her services, you know, to friends and family, people she knows, and she's, you know, she's going out of her way to make her own dreams come true and to make her own dream a reality of being a bridesmaid. Obviously, she's a young girl. She has the rest of her life to be a bridesmaid. But I think it's a really sweet concept. And, you know, she dreams of these lovely dresses and what what the day would be like. And it's really nice. I'm not exactly a romantic. I've never cared about any novels that focus on weddings or romance or anything. I prefer crime novels, to be quite frank. But this one's still really sweet because Jacqueline Wilson's so vivid in her descriptions and just so absolutely fabulous in everything she writes. There are some really beautiful descriptions of the dresses and, and flowers and things. And it's it's so immersive and so imaginative. And in terms of the level of description and detail, it's definitely one of my favourites. I imagine Jacqueline Wilson had a lot of fun writing this one uh, I think the research would have been a lot of fun just looking at pretty little bridesmaid dresses online for hours it's uh it's, it's very sweet it's very nice Tilly as a character is very likable which of course is essential with our protagonist I think she's easy to get on with she's not obnoxious she is relatable I think a lot of children will be in her position not necessarily wanting to be a bridesmaid but you know most children are going to have something that they want to achieve where you know, if you want something to happen, sometimes you have to put it into your own hands and make something happen. It's not too too risky or anything. Um, I think it's pretty suitable for anybody who likes Jacqueline Wilson books, um, by which I mean, you know, there are some of her books where things like uh, My Sister Jodie I wouldn't recommend to somebody who's only just read somebody something like Sleepovers or The Mumminder. This one's kind of middle of the road and whether you're new to Jacqueline Wilson or you've read either spectrum of her books, this one is a safe option. Without question, it's got one of my favourite covers. The cover design is beautiful despite my aversion to romance. It's pink, it's gorgeous, it's got little heart confetti all over it. Brilliant design, lovely narrative, very sweet. Not the most unpredictable but I'm not looking for, you know, a Shyamalan twist in a in a Jacqueline Wilson novel, it's it's lovely, it's beautiful. If you haven't seen it, I haven't read it. Sorry. I'd say give it a go if you like Jacqueline Wilson. Obviously, if you're not the target audience and you've never read Jacqueline Wilson, probably not going to be for you. But if you are a fan of Jacqueline Wilson, definitely give it a go.